Hi, Tiago here, and I'm going to show you how you can write a welding book with Weld Cloud Notes. So the first thing you do is you click on Welding Book and click New. Uh, by clicking New, you'll be prompted with the choice of searching for an existing project or to create a new project for this welding book. For this case, I will search for an existing one. So I'm going to use this one right here. Um, you will uh, select a component, uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm going to select this component right here. And let's give it a name. So WB Demo Video 001. Uh, you can specify the company that is going to do this uh, component. And uh, let's say the revision date is for today. So you create the welding book. So uh, first things first, you can add and modify some details here. Um, and what I'm going to do now is to add a couple of welds to this uh, welding book. So you click on the welds tab, click on add weld, you specify the thickness of the weld, and you can also specify the type of test that will be done. Um, and afterwards, you will be prompted with selecting the WPS uh, for this weld. I want a WPS that's a GTAW uh, for groove welds on stainless steel. So let's say P8. Uh, and I'm going to search by group. So it doesn't matter which material I chose because it's going to search only by the group. So if I search, I'm going to select one of these WPSs. You can create a project specific WPS and associate it with this weld. Um, this is a WPS that is just tied to this um, this welding book and this project and will not show up in the main list of WPSs. So if you want to make some customizations, that is a good option. In this case, I will just select this WPS and save the weld. And now let's add just the secondary weld. Uh, let's say 12 to 400, 1200, 12, 400. Um, let's see if I 100. Let's see if I have any WPS for this case. And let's say I'm going to find a WPS. It can be this one. Okay. And I save the weld. So after you do this, you will see the WPS is selected in here. I will save my work. Um, and you can add extra WPSs that will not show up related to the weld. So let's say if you want to add a repair WPS, this could be the place. Uh, you will also see the PQRs that are attached from the WPSs and the PQRs from any extra WPSs. And now you can add some drawings by coming here and adding, let's say, drawing demo video 001. And let's go with DMV001. So let's add um, this uh, drawing right here. Um, and I'm going to select a file. I have an example here. It's going to be uploaded and you save. So it's going to show up eventually on the uh, welding book itself. You can make some uh, 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 re review the revisions for this welding book and you can make some options like include the PQRs, PDFs, uh, change the way the WPSs are up uploaded and add a cover picture if you like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save and then I'm going to uh, export it into a PDF. So what this does is it starts merging all the information from the welds, from the WPSs, from the PQRs and from the drawings so that it then shows up into a single PDF document that you can use as information for your welders to have all the WPSs that they need to do their work. Um, but in essence, once you do this, you are pretty much done and you will be ready to print. And there we go. So download welding book. And essentially it looks something like this. It puts a table of contents and uh, introduces the welds here, all the WPSs, uh, also a specific, um, uh, a specific uh, PWHT cycle page and also a section for drawings. Now, if you also include the PQRs, they will show up in a separate category. And that's how you create a welding book in WeldCloud Notes.